Especially here in Arizona with all the baseball we have. Um, so I, I just went right to it. Okay. But for, for those of you um, beginning, learning, having trouble with finding the UCL with regularity, here's, here's something that's helped me in my early stages. I find the shaft of the ulna. Find the shaft of the ulna, run up to the head. Okay, if I could find the head of the ulna, now I'm good. That's my distal end. So I'm not going to move the distal end of my transducer. The distal end of my transducer stays there. Now the proximal end of my transducer is going to go this way. It's going to go more anterior. Switch hand. Switch hands. Your other hand. My other hand. My hand. What? Your key. Like this? That's it. That's it. Okay. I think a guy like this goes home with Starla. <laughs> My other hand. All right. Bad jokes aside. Um, so distal end stays fixed on the ulna. This, the proximal end is going to shift anteriorly until you see this band of fibers come in. And your two bony landmarks are clear in the image. Ulna. Sublime tubercle of the ulna. This is this is the ulnar collateral ligament. Okay, the scoop of the trochlea here. There's a little bit. This is fat pad. Okay, right above it. This is ulna. In cases of acute tears, what you can see sometimes is displacement of the fat pad secondary to an acute or traumatic tear. Now. Elbow angle kind of matters. There's there's there is some argument in the uh, in the community on um, should the joint move, should it not? Is there a gapping? Whatever. Um, just as a general rule, if somebody has a history of throwing, they're gonna have a little more gappiness to their elbow compared to the normal the normal population of non throwers, and you should expect a little more movement in that population. I think. Any anywhere between any any movement, any movement difference in the gap between more than one millimeter should be a little suspect. And you're gonna to need to obviously correlate that. There's some other factors to consider, but um I've seen a gap up to two and three millimeters, and when it does, that's that's definitely a high grade injury. So you're talking a, a two, three plus at that point, if it gaps that much. I haven't seen a healthy elbow um gap that the gap. Gap three inches um, since I've been scanning. Now we we've done a couple. Um, three millimeters. Yeah, if you yeah one is one to three millimeters. Yeah. Um, the that's an objective measure. Okay, in some qualitative measures, or well, these are objective measures too, but more qualitative is what does the what does the cortical surface look like? Is this cortical surface look like Julius? where it's smooth and uninterrupted? Or are there cortical irregularities where the ligament interfaces with the bone? Okay, that's a signal of potentially some chronic avulsions. Same thing with the ulnar side. Okay, less common on the ulnar side to see um, cortical irregularities, but at the sublime tubercle, you do, you, we can occasionally um, get some of that. Okay, we're looking at the quality of the fibers. Is there any disruption? No, not in the static image. Okay, but that doesn't always mean it. Okay, so I'm going to go now. I'm going to take them into a little bit of valgus. So I'm going to gap the joint a little bit. And you don't need to apply a ton of force. Okay, and you see there's like virtually zero movement here. Most of your non-throwers, there should be hardly any movement. And this is where the arc comes in with ultrasound and the medial elbow with your overhead athletes um, because you should expect a little bit more movement there and then you need to correlate it with their signs symptoms as well as the other um, more qualitative things um, that I just mentioned is the outline of the bone smooth is there any gappiness in the ligament as we as we stress it that sort of thing so 
We could probably do a whole separate masterclass just on the UCL. And again, if there's any demand for that, please let us know. Um, we love to spend more time helping you guys out with questions that you have. This is why we're here. Um, we want to provide value to the community and, and definitely, definitely engage with you all.